I'm Barry C. Harrington for Bishop W.C. Hunter and the Words of Knowledge broadcast. This month is Black History Month, and the Words of Knowledge broadcast would like to commemorate the various contributions of African Americans all across the country, as well as those within our local community. Let's take a look at this, and remember, knowledge is power. Perry, I'd like to introduce you to a group of history-making African-American inventors and entrepreneurs whose work has changed the world as we know it. This historical information was compiled by Rita Lorraine Hubbard, the creator of the Shades of Greatness publications. Now, you may have heard of Benjamin Banneker, a black man who helped build Washington, D.C. in 1789 by memorizing the blueprints. But did you also know that Banneker built the first clock in the United States? At age 22, Banneker, who had never even seen a clock, only a watch, successfully built all the gears and wheels from hand-carved wood. The clock kept perfect time for over 40 years. Another African-American man of science is George Washington Carver. Born a slave in 1860, Carver became a master of agriculture by developing more than 300 products from the peanut plant, more than 75 from the pecan, and 115 products from the sweet potato. Thomas Edison tried to hire this genius away from Tuskegee Institute with a tempting salary of $100,000 a year, but Carver respectfully declined. Have you ever wondered how a pacemaker works? This device uses electrical impulses to stimulate the heart and to create a steady beat. But the control unit for this life-saving equipment was created by Otis F. Boykin, an African-American inventor. Boykin created several electronic innovations, including resistor chips used in radios and televisions. But the pacemaker control unit is his most famous invention. In October of 2010, the whole world watched as 33 Chilean miners were rescued after being trapped underground for more than two months. But a similar rescue took place nearly 100 years earlier, thanks to Garrett Augustus Morgan, creator of the gas mask. In 1916, Morgan used his mask to rescue 29 men trapped in a tunnel 300 feet beneath Lake Erie. Unfortunately, Morgan was not recognized for his heroic rescue because he was black. Eventually, in 1963, Morgan was awarded a diamond-studded medal for his act of heroism. Frederick McKinley Jones is the most important black inventor ever, holding more than 60 patents in a variety of industries. The former garage mechanic invented the first snowmobile in 1919. Toward the end of the 1920s, he created devices that converted silent movie theaters into talkie theaters. He even created the first ticket dispensing machine. Jones built the first refrigerated truck for transporting food across the country. And he's also credited for building the first portable x-ray machine. Did you know the first millionaire in the United States was a black woman? She was born Sarah Breedlove Walker, but history knows her as Madam C.J. Walker. In 1905, she invented the popular pomade treatment used for pressing black hair. The Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company employed over 3,000 people, and Madam C.J.'s personal wealth was estimated at over $1 million which is equivalent to $10 million in today's market. She was an avid supporter of the black community by donating to numerous charities, including the NAACP. Every time we get in our cars and shift gears or turn on the blinker to make a turn, we should thank Richard Bowie Spikes. This brilliant inventor created directional signals for automobiles in 1913 and changed the world of transportation safety. He later went on to create the automatic gear shift in 1932 and the automatic transmission in 1933, revolutionizing the automotive industry around the world. Rheumatoid arthritis is a debilitating and painful disease, but a black scientist by the name of Percy LeVon Julian is responsible for easing the suffering of millions of patients. 
Julian and his team created a synthetic cortisone substitute that was just as effective in relieving pain, but at a much cheaper cost. He held over 100 patents, and his groundbreaking work earned numerous awards and honors. Shortly after his death in 1975, Julian was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Almost everything we know about black inventors is because of the work of a virtually unknown black historian named Henry Edwin Baker. Born just before the Civil War in Mississippi, Baker became one of the first black examiners in the U.S. Patent Office. He was fascinated by the number of inventions from minds of color and set out to tell the world that blacks were indeed capable of creating with their minds. Baker discovered over 1,200 black inventors and wrote a book called The Colored Inventor, which was released on the 50th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation. There are several black history makers from right here in Chattanooga. One of the most prominent was Dr. Emma Rochelle Wheeler, the first black female physician in Chattanooga and founder of Walden Hospital, the first hospital for African Americans. The 30-bed facility opened in 1915 and was staffed by two house doctors, three nurses, and accommodated 17 other physicians and surgeons. The hospital closed in 1952 and remains a historic landmark here in Chattanooga.